In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the best Madden Ultimate Team that you can build with the best players at each position and why I think they're the best players. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, uh, we do Madden 21 tips and tricks videos, mostly on just tactics, different schemes, different offensive tips and defensive tips, but occasionally we'll um, do some mutt tips. I've been trying to get a little bit better at mutt this year. And I've been learning a lot about the game. And I wanted to walk you through a couple of upgrades to my team. Some of the latest cards that uh, came out this weekend I think are very relevant. Um, and we're just going to walk through things. So first and foremost, I think my wide receiving core, this is the best wide receiving core that you can have. At your number one receiver, you want to put in uh, Chad Johnson. He's the best wide receiver, in my opinion, in the game. Um, with the exception of potentially uh, Terry McLaurin. But basically what you'll see here is, and this is what makes him so good, is because he's a route running archetype, and that's what I wanted to talk about most, the archetypes of the players that you're looking for. What you're looking for in your receivers, if you can help it, is you want to try to get at least one or two um, route running archetypes. So what you'll see here is Chad Johnson has the route running archetype, and let's see if we can show you his uh, attributes here. Let me just go to the upgrade section. And with that archetype that he gets, because he has that, you can get a slot apprentice on him for one AP as opposed to like two to three to sometimes even four AP, depending on the archetype. He gets route technician for two AP, which means he's going to get better cuts on routes. And route technician is um, essential if you're running uh, an offense that is you know doesn't have a ton of great man beating routes that's something that you would really want i put go deep on him um he doesn't really need it you could put play fake on but i personally think the go deep chemistry is the best chemistry um, just to get those uh that plus four throw power and that plus four deep route running i find that to be very very important deep route running to me is the most important uh statistic in your receivers and then i have sprinter on him um and then what we'll do is we'll show you his uh, counterpart and that is Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin is not a route running archetype but he's so good I feel like he has to be on uh, your squad and so we'll show you his ratings here uh, we've got him powered up as well and when you put your players on ideally you would power them up you would get their power up and completely power them up you don't necessarily have to do that it does make them just play a little bit better but you you see with his power up he's got 96 speed 95 deep route running 92 short route running and 91 uh medium route running that that 90 threshold is what you're looking for from your route running once you get them over 90 that's kind of the key uh, to them being able to cut better and to run better routes so you can see here uh, with that 96 speed that's one of the fastest cards of the game and if you do theme teams you can actually get that up to 97 um but i personally you know, I think 96 is fine uh, for me. And then Stephon Diggs. And this is why these guys are the three best wide receivers, at least in my opinion. You see Stephon Diggs has the route running archetype. So we can put route technician on him for only two AP. So now I have two wide receivers that have route technician on them. And they all have over 90 plus route running. You see Stephon Diggs has 91 short, 91 medium, and 95 deep route running with uh, 94 speed so he's a little bit slower um, than the other cards but he gets the job done at least for me uh, in that category and then I want to talk about the best running back in the game this is specifically for if you're a passing player if you're a pass oriented player and that's Reggie Bush and the reason why is because of his archetype as you can see here he's a receiving back and this is why this is so important abilities are so important in Madden 21 just like they were in Madden 20. And what you want to have on your Reggie Bush, if you can help it, is Backfield Master. Um, you see with Backfield Master, it says more hot routes and improved catching from the backfield. This is going to allow you to put your running back on a table route or an angle route or um, some really unique routes. Uh, ghost routes, actually, ironically, are really, really good against zone coverage. So uh, these just these allow him to do that. Uh, Kimmed up, I've got him at 94 speed, 95 agility, 
uh, and 95 acceleration. So he meets pretty much every threshold. The one thing I did want to show you is his route running is actually fairly good. Uh, you see here he has 74 medium route running. So if you wanted to uh, flex him out as a receiver, you could. He has 83 short route running, which is amazing for a running back, and 68 uh, deep route running. So he doesn't meet all the thresholds for the route running perspective, but he's the best that you can possibly get in my opinion. Now, if you want to run the ball, if you're truly just wanting to run the ball, I would recommend going with Barry Sanders card. And the reason why is because not because of his speed, but I personally think the smaller agile backs, um, get a little bit better animations in the run game and i just think barry sanders gets animations like crazy he has 93 speed 96 acceleration he doesn't have that top end speed that raheem moster would have but he has really really good um, change of direction really good spin move juke move that's all over 90 uh, overall so if i was going to run the ball i would recommend using barry sanders but if you want just pure speed or if you wanted to flex this back out you see here i have this raheem moster card now if you're on a 49ers theme team what you'll see is his his speed will go up to 97 if you're on a 49ers theme team and you get the, get that maxed out, which I might go back and do that today just to get that boost to Raheem Mostert. At 97 speed, he's pro I think he's the fastest card in the game, and you can run him uh, as a wide receiver but just, and just basically use him on streaks. Uh, but what you can see here, uh, Raheem Mostert, you know, basically just a fast back. But you see down here, he doesn't have the agility statistics that Barry Sanders have. And that's why I personally think uh, Raheem Mostert is better served um, as, you know, unless you have the 49ers team team, I think he's better served as a wide receiver than he is a running back in this game. All right. So moving right along here, Darren Waller. Um, there's a little bit of a debate about do you go Darren Waller or do you go Vernon Davis? Both of them get tight end apprentice, and for the offense that I've been running lately, uh, tight end apprentice is really, really important. I want to show you Vernon Davis first because he he could be he could be the number one tight end in Madden 21. You see here he has 91 speed, so he has a little bit more. He's going to have a little bit more speed than Vernon Davis. The issue with Vernon Davis, in my in my estimation, is that his route running is just not where I would like it. And that's that's my issue. So um, with him, so you'll see here if you take a look at his stats, he has uh, 86 medium route running. But then if you look, he has 88 deep route running, and that's chemmed up. That's with plus four uh, deep route running. And then a short route running is, um, I think. Let me see. I think that was 80. Was that 80 something? It was like mid 80s, I think. Um, and so. So that's why, you know, for me, you know, again, and if you put play fake on him, you can get that medium route running over 90. But my issue is with that, if you want, if you want the play fake, play fake route, which you actually could, I mean, legitimately you could do that. But if you look at Darren Waller here, and this is why I like him. So he's, he's 90 speed. He's not 91. And, and I think Vernon Davis can actually go up to 92 or 93 speed um, when you get the 49ers theme team. But so if you if you're doing a 49er seam team, it makes a little bit of sense. But look at Vernon da or look at Darren Waller's route running. He has 93 short route running. He has 90 medium route running. And then here's the thing that um, here's the thing that catches uh, my attention. You get him up to 88 deep route running, kimmed up. So they're the same route running deep, but middle and short. Uh, Darren Waller takes the cake. On that so with that 90 medium route running you're gonna be able to get him open on uh, crossing routes and different things like that just just stock and in my opinion this guy still has some some valid uh, in my opinion not a lot of people are using Jermichael Finley just because of the fact that he's slow um, he only has 83 speed but what you'll see with this card is he has 91 medium route running and then if you take a look at his deep route running you can actually get that to 91 once you use the go deep chemistry on him so I actually think Jermichael Finley still has some play, but overall, I think the number one stat for tight ends is the medium route running. You're not going to run them on a lot of deep things. So that's where Darren Waller, to me, um, takes the cake. And even Vernon Davis, you could make a legitimate argument if you have the if you put the play fake chemistry on him. But if you start Vernon Davis, you're basically saying you have to use the play fake chemistry, and you're pretty much going to, I would recommend, running a 49er theme team with that. Um, offensive line, um, the key here is 
the uh, edge protectors. Both tackles have edge protectors on them, and I think everyone is over 90 pass block and 90 run block. When you're playing unlimited mutt, you might as well get the best lineman. Um, this is what I wanted to talk about really, really, really briefly, uh, the quarterback. So I, for a while, was the kind of guy that wanted to use uh, – Gunslinger, set feet elite, and pass lead elite on my quarterback. I've I recently just switched that just to using gunslinger, and it's not because what I was doing before doesn't work. It's primarily because I'm testing out some of the wide receiver abilities, and I want to see kind of what happens. Uh, what does it allow me to really torch man, or does it just allow me to be a little bit more uh, efficient against man to man? But Brett Favre, in my opinion, is still the best quarterback in Madden 21. A lot of people would say that Josh Allen is the best quarterback in Madden 21. If you just look at his st statistics, that is probably true. Um, but what I would recommend is if I went with the play fake chemistry here, and I might actually switch up and go with that, um, the play fake chemistry will give me plus four medium accuracy. And with Brett Favre, the reason that's significant is because he'll get 90 accuracy thresholds across the board. And he'll still get that plus four throw power, which is above 95. And above 95 throw power is the threshold for the top of the top throw power. So you basically have 90 to 95 is like tier two. 95 to, to 100 is uh, tier one. So he's coming in with, with really you know the best throw power you could have. Um, even though it's not 99, it's still above that threshold. But here's the reason why Brett Favre is better than Josh Allen. And Brett Favre, for that matter, is better than Dante Culpepper. When you actually play the game... Brett Favre has the fastest release in Madden Ultimate Team. That's what makes him so good. It's not just his stats. It's the way he actually plays in-game that really takes him to the next level. So um, that is my team. Now let me show you what I've done with my abilities here. And I don't know if I'll be able to activate all of them. But basically what we've got here is we have um, Terry McLaurin. I'm going to deactivate him. He's not going to have any abilities. He's going to be completely clean. But Chad Johnson is going to have... Um, and I might just put, uh, let me see here, I might just put Route Technician on Chad Johnson, honestly, because uh, I don't really use Slot Apprentice um, unless I'm running Bunch. So I might just take that off of him and just use Route Tech. That's probably what I'll do. Um, but basically, I have an Edge Protector, I have Gunslinger, I have a Backfield Master, and I have two Route Technicians. I'll take that Slot Apprentice off of uh, Chad Johnson and put that on as a slot or as a. Uh, as a uh, route now what you could also do is you could run one ability on him and have slot matic and um, and slot apprentice if you wanted to do that as well now for the defense real quick um, there's not a ton to talk about here um, primarily what I wanted to talk about is um, why these players are all basically useless um, linebackers in this game do not get the same animations that uh, corners and safeties get in the passing game so unless you're gonna blitz all of your linebackers which if you're running three four bear you could do something like that um, these guys they I just don't really play them um, and honestly I've thought about just selling them off but I use their um, you know, I use them for the chemistries and things like that uh, a little bit and obviously not to the fullest extent of it but um, these guys are just the fastest linebackers that you could get in the game uh, over here on the corner, Dion. These are the best three corners in my estimation. Dion Sanders. It's crazy that Denzel Ward has lasted this long, but Denzel Ward, DRC, and Jair Alexander. I'm still running one step ahead on all my corners, um, or at least three of them. I think that that's the best ability that you can get uh, in Madden 21, as you can see right here. But Jair Alexander, uh, let me show you his stats. Now, he's the one corner to me that has a little bit of issue but you play him because of his speed, but he comes in with 96 man, uh, 89 zone once you kim him up above lockdown, and he gets that 95 speed. I'm primarily playing him for the speed because I'd really like to get plus one zone. As soon as a good corner comes out with similar statistics but a little bit higher zone, I'm definitely going to be switching to them. This, this safety right here, when he came out, I knew this was going to be a crazy card, and he certainly is. Uh, Devin McCourty, is really really good because he's got 99 zone once you kim him up and he's got 95 man-to-man -man coverage with 94 speed this guy this guy is a borderline a better quarter than even jair alexander is and so if you wanted to you could actually play this guy at corner now what i do is i play him at linebacker in the nickel 335 
and I'm able to basically you know lock people up that direction. Um, but I got Devin McCourty there. Uh, Denzel Ward, Denzel Ward is kind of in the same boat as Jair Alexander. The primary reason you're using him is for speed. Uh, his attributes, he's got 95 speed. He's basically the same attributes. Um, 95 speed, 95 man, 89 zone, 93 press. He got a little bit better press, I think, than Jair Alexander. But same kind of thing. And I'll be honest, Denzel Ward very rarely plays. He only plays whenever um, I go to the dollar three two six if they're in like an obvious passing situation. Uh, Micah Hyde, I think Micah Hyde has really survived a lot of time in the game as being one of the better cards. Here's why. Uh, similar to um, similar to Devin McCourty, you see he comes in at 93 speed, 94 man, 99 zone. So he's a little bit slower than Devin McCourty, but man, can he man coverage and can he zone coverage. This guy's an amazing card. And, you know, you put him, if you put him in zone, he's going to play. If you put him in man, he's going to play. Once you get him above 90, that's really what you're looking for. Uh, and then I got the new Ed Reed. I want to talk about how I'm going to use this Ed Reed card. So uh, in the nickel 335, what I, what I plan to do is I plan to put Ed Reed, which he does have 90 man, as you can see. Once you use the lockdown chemistry, which is my favorite chemistry in the game for defense, he has 94 speed, 90 man, 99 zone. Now, where he's going to play most of the time is we're going to leverage the fact that he has 99 zone and he has that 94 speed. And because his man coverage is just a little bit shorter um, or less than Devin McCourty's and then Micah Hyde, I plan to put him in zone about 80% of the game. Um, and I want him to be playing you know, deep quarters, deep halves, deep thirds to uh, really uh, lock people down that way. And then Ronnie Lott, I just wanted to show you his abilities. This guy's a beast. And I do have a budget card if you if you want to, um, if you don't want to use this guy. He only has 97 zone. I was hoping to get him to 99, but he just doesn't have that up, upper echelon zone coverage. But he does come in with that 91 man coverage once you power him up and once you uh, use the lockdown chemistry on him. So every corner, every safety has above 90 man. Every corner, every safety has above 90 zone, um, which to me is insane. And then um, on the edge, these are the best edge rushers in Madden 21 right now. Chandler Jones and Derek Thomas. Let me show you why. Um, when you're building your team, I would recommend having someone that has over 90 power move and over 90 finesse move. You see Derek Thomas, 91 speed, 92 power move, and 91 finesse move. In my opinion, he's the best pass rusher in the game. But very close second to him is Chandler Jones. Um, Chandler Jones, this Chandler Jones card is is he has played really really well for me and has gotten pretty good pressure but you'll see here uh power rusher again he's got 95 power move 92 finesse move he only has 82 speed so you want to make sure that this guy is always blitzing you do not want to put him in coverage just doesn't have the speed to be able to get out there um and if you want someone that does have the speed to get out there then you could use um either ricky jackson or lawrence taylor i don't think lawrence taylor is too bad but I think Ricky Jackson is a little bit better than Lawrence Taylor just from a pure ratings perspective. He has 89 speed, 92 power move, only 88 finesse move. And that's why I made the jump to, to Chandler Jones. I think that having both of those at that 90 threshold is going to significantly help you. So that's pretty much it. And then Aaron Donald, uh, same kind of theory here. Uh, I think Aaron Donald is amazing. Uh, he plays really, really good in Madden in general. But he's got 82 speed, which is okay. And he's got 93 block shed, 93 power move, 91 finesse move. Like, what more can you ask for from your defensive tackle? Uh, so I've got him at the defensive tackle position. And then the other, the only other guy that I wanted to cover is Javon Curse. And the reason I wanted to cover Javon Curse is just because of his pure speed. So if you're playing a Michael Vick, which because everybody's running Josh Allen or Brett Favre, you don't necessarily have to have a fast, fast guy. But I find that when you drop this guy into like a three wreck or a bluff blitz or something, he's got 90 speed with 92 finesse moves. He only has 85 power moves, so I don't typically blitz him unless I'm blitzing. But um, he, I find having that super, super fast guy as a spy is really, really effective for facing those Michael Vick type of teams. And then in the goal line in the red zone, I would encourage you to sub in Mean Joe Green. And I think Mean Joe Green has stood the test of time here. He has 92 block shed and 92 power move. He's not a great pass rusher for me, but against the run, he's he's up there. I think he's one of the better uh, run Ds. As far as abilities go, um, let me show you those really quickly. Um, so this is what I run. Uh, I think out my way is the most important ability that you could have. 
um, to stop the run. And so I put that on Taylor Mays. He is out my way. And then I'm just running three one step ahead corners. Um, what you could all, what what I have done as well is running um, two out my ways, which are two AP, and then running eight acrobats. You could also do that. I think that's very effective as well. The reason you want two out my ways is because if you're running like the big nickel over G or the nickel normal, you're going to be able to really, um, to really, really lock up against the run. But back in the nickel three three five, back in the nickel three three five wide, kind of going between those two. Uh, formations as well as the nickel normal uh, kicker Morton Anderson's the best kicker he gets focus kicker so I have focus kicker on him just because the lag is absolutely insane and then Trey Way and then last but not least I did want to show you really quickly um, this little budget card right here now he doesn't have chemistry so you have to understand that um, he is going to be better with chemistries but this Adrian Amos card can actually be a nice little budget card for you uh, he has 94 speed he has 96 zone coverage, 90 man coverage. So in my opinion, he's right there with the Ronnie Lott. I think he's even a little bit faster than Ronnie Lott. Um, but this is a card that you could really um, – he's hes just as good. He gets that over 90 man and over 90 zone. So if you wanted to pick him up, uh, he's a little bit cheaper for you uh, in that regard. But anyways, guys, that's my lineup update. And again, I just want to encourage you to – uh, as you're building your team um, to do the get a player method, get a player method works really, really well for making coins. Um, also, if you have questions about making coins, just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. Uh, we can share some of the stuff we've learned. Now, we don't know everything about MUT by any stretch of the imagination. We've just learned a lot about it this year So, uh, with with all the uh, big tournaments being on MUT this year. So um, if, you have, if you have not already, I'd highly encourage you to join the text membership. Now, if you want to learn uh, the full schemes that I'm using for these uh, players, then that is going to be coming to you very shortly. So just text me if you want to get that full scheme. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for your time, and we'll see you in our next video coming in a little bit.